So now we will develop the geometry in ANSYS geometry module. So if you see in project schematic in Fluent, the first option is your geometry. So first you have to develop your geometry. So if you select this geometry in the right side of your project schematic, you will see the properties of the geometry. Here you have lots of parameters and properties for your geometry. For example, the basic geometry option gives you what types of bodies you can generate in this geometry module. You can generate solid bodies, you can generate surface bodies, you can also generate line bodies. So these bodies are very important for the simulation. If we are going to do 3D simulation, you have to develop a solid body. But if you want to develop 2D simulation or if you want to do 2D simulation, you don't need to develop a 3D body. So you just develop the surface bodies. Here in the advanced geometry option, you also have the flexibility to choose whether you're going to draw 3D or 2D object. If you select 2D, then it will only draw 2D model. And if you select 3D, it will give you 3D bodies. So these are the parameters. So make sure these all parameters are checked. And let's double click this geometry option and it will take you to the ANSYS geometry module. So this is the ANSYS geometry module interface. When it opens, it will ask you what would be the unit convention. You can draw your geometry in meter centimeter, millimeter or micrometer or even foot or inch. So whatever option you want, you can choose here in the beginning. So let's say we want to draw our objects and our geometries in inch unit. So select inch and select OK. So now this is the geometry module interface. And the left side of this interface you have the tree outline where you will see how your geometry is being developed what types of bodies are there and what operations you have done to develop your geometry in the right side of the interface you have the graphics and you will see your geometry here in the bottom left corner you have the detail view where you will see the properties of different operations. Here you have two tabs. One is the sketching tab, another is the modeling tab. Right now, you're looking at the modeling tab. If you select the sketching tab, you will see different tools for drawing objects. You have lots of different tools by which you can develop your geometry. You have modify option. You can modify your geometry like the standard modification tools like fillets, chamfers, corners, streams, etc. In the dimension, you can give dimension to your geometry. We will see every detail of this. You can also give you some constraint to your geometry like perpendicular to some line or some body, tangent to some line or body. You can make it here. In setting, you can also change the graphics interface. If you want to grid in your graphics interface, you can also do that. So these are the basic tools we will use to draw our geometry. And we will see in the modeling tab how we are developing our geometry. So in the right bottom corner, you have 
your coordinate system here you can see the direction vector the x direction the y and the z direction you can also see here in the plane so when you are developing the geometry for CFD it's very important to know your origin and which plane you are drawing your geometry because it's very important for applying boundary condition and post-processing so this is the XY plane if you select ZX plane it will show you here if you select YZ plane it will also show you here and it will also show you how many parts and how many bodies do you have in your geometry which is also a very important parameter you have also the menu bars where you can see this any standard software you can save your project you can export your external geometry we will see how we're gonna export external geometries you can use different tools you can modify your geometries so we will see each and everything in detail so this is the basic introduction for the geometry module we will see how to develop a geometry in ANSYS geometry module in the next tutorial